and we are live. But I must turn this song off before we get a copyright strike, before we even get started. Because this video is not going to be about Post Malone. No, it's not. It's going to be about making coffee. Uh, it's no secret I have a cup of coffee each day. Well, we're going to get started making the coffee. The first key is heating up water. We're using just regular old spring water. It does not take filling this up. But I want a little extra, and I'll explain that as we go along. And then I, boop, and it is 8.30. We'll see how long it takes. So in the meantime, we've got to grind our beans. Now you could use your Maxwell House, Folgers, whatever coffee you into. I've used Starbucks occasionally. I think it's a little overpriced personally. But this is about a $15 bag. This is two pounds of coffee beans. <sighs> that smells really, really good. This is what the bean looks like. It's a little dark, darker than a typical coffee bean. But it's San Francisco Bay, and it's called Fog Chaser. And it will chase your mental fog away. I hear our water heating up. That's one minute in. This thing don't mess around. Okay, so this is my coffee grinder. I'm going to put the proper amount of beans in and we're going to grind it up. You want your beans ground all the way through and not like chunks the beans still in. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is put this in the French press. It's a little dirty. You know, it's just from a quick rinse out, hanging out my driver's seat right there. I don't go into a sink every day and rinse this out. And even if you leave, leave coffee grinds, like all of them, in there from the day before, it's not the end of the world. It actually just gives it a little more flavor. My mom always taught me to clean as you go. Now what we're gonna do, is add water. Now when I do it, I like to kind of, I don't know, mix it and give it a little love and a little swish around as it's going. I don't want to fill it up quite to the line because I'll have too much for my 30 ounce Yeti cup that this is going to be going in. There we go. Now I don't want to like mix it all up in a blender and shit kind of want to swoosh it around a little bit. See that froth? That is coffee deliciousness right there. This stuff. You can get it without salt. This is the Aldi's brand right here, which I just cut across. This is the knife I like to use anyway. There we go. That's maybe a little, little buttery. What's that lady? That cooking lady? That they said's a racist now. Paula Dean, that's her name. She liked butter. But that's the brand. Or a brand. You won't be disappointed with that butter. Here in the truck, I use a Nutribullet. We got two more minutes on the coffee. So we are on track. But what I'm gonna do, put my butter in there. The next key ingredient, I don't have my spoon. Usually about a spoon of this. But instead of spending a lot of time looking for a spoon, we'll use a knife. About that much coconut oil. Coconut oil, guys, is something you want to have in your diet. Like, you can cook with it, fry with it. Uh, you can do a lot of things with coconut oil. You can 
lick it off a knife even. It's good for your mouth and your dental hygiene and your teeth to just put it in and swoosh it around a little bit. Coconut oil is fantastic. I mean, you can, it's good for your skin. This is something to, <laughs> there's all kind of things you can do with coconut oil truck drivers. I recommend having it on your truck. It is good stuff. But that's the key ingredients in what I call bulletproof coffee or keto coffee, whatever you want to do. It's trucker gym coffee is what we're making right now. But in addition to the butter and the coconut oil, use this as an opportunity to get some nutrients that I need into my body. Turmeric or turmeric. I mispronounce a lot of things. Y'all can just, that's it. Just a little bit of a dash, a dash or two. This is good for fighting cancer and all kind of other things. You can Google it or ask my mom. She'll tell you. Cinnamon. That's good for the brain. That's going to wake me up. Ooh. I wouldn't put that much cinnamon in there. I, I overdid it a little bit. And then, um, oh, that was cayenne pepper I just put in thinking it was turmeric. Here's the turmeric. But cayenne pepper, cinnamon, and turmeric, along with butter and coconut oil. Boom, we are a, a little bit overdue on the coffee. So this probably set for about five minutes. But we're pushing this down and all the coffee grinds are going to the bottom because we don't want coffee grinds in our coffee. Now we're going to pour the coffee into here. Look at that. Beat. That is a perfect color right there. Not too dark, but you can tell it's got some flavor in it. Boom. There we go. How many people, is it, there really only 16 people? I thought this would go over as a big hit, making coffee. I get requests all the time for it, and I needed to make it, and I was thinking about doing a live video, cause I'm trying to take a little break from editing and filming so much, and okay, here we go. We're in the home stretch right now. I'm gonna be saying, mmm, that's some good coffee, in a minute, cause it's gonna be. But I'll plug this in, trusty Yeti cup. I got this cup. It was my second year as a truck driver. So that was 2016. And I've been having coffee out of the same cup ever since. It wasn't th this kind of coffee in the beginning. I used to just do the truck stop coffee, but my coffee making has evolved over the years. And what I just showed you guys, this is a miracle in a bottle, guys. I mean, it, it is delicious. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it. I can promise you my coffee today is freaking better than yours. Unless you got some serious gourmet coffee action going on. But, I don't know if it's got a little butter hue to it. A lot of people think they think the you know the butter in the coffee is kind of weird, but it's divine, man. I think the Egyptians used to do it because what it's doing is getting good, healthy fat in your diet. Most of America's been fooled by like junk food making companies that fat's bad, and I don't know that food out of a box is is good. But I disagree. But because of this, I won't eat until probably 2, 3 o'clock. And that allows intermediate fasting, which if I don't go too crazy with my carbs, gives me a chance to actually get into ketosis. And, well, this video is about not, not about ketosis, but maybe Google it and learn you a little something about it. And it's a very good state to be in. But... The state that I'm in is Texas. I just got into it last night and shut down. I'm in Orange, Texas at the Flying J, headed to Laredo, and 
I'll, I'll make that today with a little time to spare so with any luck there'll be one ready I'll churn and burn and start working my way up back and shut down around San Antonio or so and be back in South Carolina in a couple of days mmm that is some good coffee people I highly recommend everybody try it. it it's kind of a lifestyle for me it's something I do every just about every day I'll check the comments and then I've got to get on the road I'm pretty sure my time has reset mm. damn that's good now I won't do this on camera because I have to dump it out the door and walk down the trailer and all that but this has to be well I like to rinse this out so that's why I have a little extra water in here to just put a little bit of water in here shake it up and then pour it out on the ground and that's clean enough you know if you want to wipe it out with a napkin you know be my guest the French press that requires dumping and you know the grinds out and then some water to give it a rinse and well that's good enough for me but you have to be careful when you do that I've broken a few of these things you know I guess not woke up and when I turn it you know there's a this is a metal ring with a glass you know cylinder inside of, of there but I've had that slip out before fall down on the ground and break and that sucks when that happens well yeah. that's this is good coffee and then you know a Yeti cup or you know whatever kind of cup you got like this it keeps it hot for hours and hours I just you know sip upon it throughout the day and my energy is outstanding and I always kind of take it as a challenge how long can I go before I eat and what am I gonna eat when you know I you know break my fast which I don't have to get a 16 hour in every single day but several times a week I do and that's what I strive for and I think it, it's definitely made a difference in my health and the, the way I feel I mean I'm still a basket case guys I ain't saying I got it all figured out but that's one one area that um, I feel good on the progress that I made in the direction I'm going in but let me check the comments and then I got to get trucking guys and I don't know maybe I'll I hadn't started a, another video I don't know if you guys have watched the I mean I hadn't I went all crazy with title screens and, and all that but I've got a new fresh take or fresh look at what I call the trucking journey which is life out on the road but it's my experience out here on, on the road but I can't put a hundred percent of my time into it because well you know I got the job to do as well check your comments I'm gonna have to put my glasses on to check the comments so and then I gotta get moving Creek Kentucky hey I bet that's you Paul Wiggles isn't it appreciate it brother um Yippee coconut jam coconut oil always works. Yeah, coconut oil is great stuff. Um the video is curious. Yeah, Tracy, I think it was your comment that inspired this video. So uh appreciate it. I would like to get good inspiring ideas from the audience and make content that that people want to see. It's just this is what is this all the comments really? Boot Hill, you going to lease or get into your own truck this year? I'm not really even thinking about that right now. Uh, being on this Texas fleet, and you know, I've, I've moved out of my, my house that I've been in for the, the last year, so I don't have rent and a power bill and internet and, you know, those kind of things. So my big focus right now is just make some freaking money, man, and, and bank some and, and build up some, build savings back, back up. And you know Christmas is coming up. All right, I think I'm caught up with the comments, but that's how you make bulletproof coffee. If you have questions on how it works, maybe rewind and watch it again because you saw it right here live on YouTube. But everyone, thanks for uh, watching, interacting in the comments. If you hadn't seen some of those previous videos over the last couple of weeks, I don't know. They're getting there. They'll, they'll get better. But I'm out. Until next time. Be safe out there and keep on talking.